What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that have been watching, I greatly appreciate it. For those of you that this is your first time here, the channel's name is Saltwater Buffalo. I go by the name Buffalo. Um, just fishing around Oak Island again today, so I'm going to do the same thing like I did the last video, at least starting out. Throw in a little three and a half inch uh, paddle tail here by Z-Man, the electric chicken. If you watched my last video, you've seen every fish I caught that was worth a crab was on that. Um, when I was using the shrimp on the Carolina rigs whenever I was catching the croakers and stuff like that. So we're going to do the same exact thing again today and let's see what we can get on. Maybe. I don't know. That might be an oyster. Yeah, that feels like a fish. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a fish. There he goes. What do we got? Oh, a little flounder. All right. Come here, buddy. All right. Well, skunk is off the boat. Same as last video. First skunk off the boat for the day is a little flounder. So try to be quick with them because these are out of season. Come on, buddy, give it here. Come on, dummy. Dang, man, you wanted that thing good. There we go. All right, so here we go. Little flounder of the day. He's probably only about 12 inches, something like that. There's their white side. So get him back because we need him to grow up and get a heck of a lot bigger for us. So that way come September, we can keep that guy. this little guy dang oh, a little croaker all right there you go super tiny little fella Jesus. Yeah. No wonder I got him that time. 
freaking croaker belly hooked, man. Yeah, there you go. Another little dinker. See if I can actually keep a fish hooked this time. Doesn't feel real big, but let's see what we got. Come on, baby. Yeah, little baby red. Go. All right, come here, buddy. Come here. There we go. He's a little guy. But for as much as uh, this weather has been bad today, the fishing's been horribly slow, I'll take a little one. All right, come here, let's get you. There we go, you can just see, probably a little 12, 13 inch, something like that. Nothing super big, but hey, you know, I'll go ahead and take them for today. All right, let's go ahead and get a good release on this guy here. There he goes, he was ready to go. That didn't take much. That's good, hopefully um, he'll swim off healthy and grow up and maybe we can find him again later when he gets big. Crazy. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I had a bite, as you've seen. I lost it. I was reeling in, and that trout come up and snatched it again, and then shook it right as I was flipping them in the boat. Oh. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, a little trout. A little trout. I pretty well figured that's what was back in here, but, you know. Oh, dang. Look at this. He was barely hooked. 
but hey, here we go. Hey, just a little guy. Probably, I don't know, maybe eight inches, something like that. Not real big, but you know, it's um, it's a fish on the boat for being such a slow day, so I'm happy about that. And then, I, I, heck, I just realized that makes my slam again for today. So this is two videos in a row now. Got my redfish, my flounder, and my trout. Flounder can't keep, obviously. My redfish was too small to keep, and that trout was too small to keep. But either way, it's still a slam. So I like it, man. This means, uh, this is good things, man. This is finally, finally the weather's turning. Water's up to 73. It was cold and windy this morning. Wind's kind of died down a little bit now. Sun's out, so, uh, Maybe these things are going to turn on. Let's go. Come on, baby, stay on there. All right. Yeah, well, he's a little guy, but we got him skiing in here. Oh, now you want to fight. Now you want to fight, huh? All right. Here we go, trout number two. I've switched baits a couple different times. Oh, yeah, this guy's not going to be. Oh, dang, that just came out. Whew, didn't even have him hooked, I guess. I'll double check him. I don't think he's legal. I think he's only about 12. They got the 14 here to keep. He's pretty small. Let's see what we got. Yeah, he's 11 and a half. So, like I figured. Not very big. But, he going trout number two on the boat. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh yeah, come on, baby. Dang, I hadn't even started working it yet. What do we got? Oh, come on. Flounder. Oh, and he's barely freaking hooked. There we go, all right. Might be about my biggest one of the year now. Not bad. Not bad. Let's try to make quick work of this fella as always since we can't keep him. Let's see what we well. Alright. I didn't tell him. These dudes go freaking nuts whenever you get them in the boat, man. They um they flop around, they're hard to handle. You gotta watch their teeth. They'll get you pretty good. Wait. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Just smile at the camera and then you get to go back, okay? That's it. Yeah. See, there we go. All right, nice size one right there. He'd probably be right about legal size in North Carolina of 15 inches. So let's get him back. He's gone. All right, we're getting on him. That one. So I was using that little electric chicken paddle tail. I have got the same color, just in a little four inch jerk shad. So I've switched over to that just cause it's a little bit skinnier of a profile compared to that paddle tails. Got a fatter body on it. So I figured since I've been catching small trout, that I'd go to something just a little bit slimmer, same color and everything like that. And it's just on a Texas eye jig head. And um, so now we got a flounder on this too. So let's go. 
All right, y'all. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the day. Not a stellar day, but we still put some fish on the boat here. Um, I got that one red. I think it was maybe two flounder, two trout. I don't know. You'll see them all in the video. So, as always, I appreciate every one of you tuning in, watching me out here being an idiot on the boat, trying to uh, put something together for y'all. So, like I said, I have got a few trips planned coming up. I'm going to do some freshwater fishing for some crappie here in the next couple weeks. Um, maybe another saltwater trip here pretty quick too. So um, stay tuned. I would definitely appreciate a like if you do like it. If you don't like it, as I always say, give me two thumbs down. That way I really know you don't like it. But please subscribe so you guys don't miss anything that I have coming up. Um, I know it's still a pretty new channel, but I'm working on trying to get at least one video a week. Whether I can do that or not, I don't know with my work schedule and my fishing ability. But um, if you would, I mean, I definitely appreciate anything that you guys do. So until the next one, remember, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice.